Okay guys, once again, my apartment is disgusting. Uh, I made a video like months ago where I was mad at myself for having my room be a mess. Um, this is kind of the same vibe except um, I'm actually mad this time. Um, I also have a bunch of chores to do today because my, my dad is coming from Ontario. So I have to clean this whole place up and also my car's busted up. I gotta try to fix that again. Um, and I need some motivation because I work later and I don't have much time. So I'm gonna film it and you're gonna enjoy doing chores with me. Isn't that, doesn't that sound exciting? It's like a vlog. It's like a vlog. Maybe I should hold the camera like this. Oh. Yeah guys, what's up? What's good? Uh, this is the vlog. Uh, my kitchen's a mess as you can see. That's disgusting. Um, there's garbage everywhere. That's gross. That's a mess. Beans on the couch. Yeah. Lots of work to do today. Let's fucking do it. Okay, now it's time for POV. You're my family member, and I'm gonna do the dishes, but I don't want to be lonely while I and then bored while I do them. So this, um, this is like a FaceTime call. Except you don't get to see yourself. So I made a TikTok the other day. Also, follow me on TikTok. I use it like Twitter. I, I put this much effort into it. Um, but I made one the other day. Well, like yesterday or the day before. And I was like talking about... Um, my laugh, and like, I kind of made a joke that I like practice my laugh in the mirror. Like, I do practice some speech things in the mirror, but it's less of like me practicing it. It's more like me, it's more like me making fake scenarios because I'm bored. Like, talking to people and being like, why the fuck would you do that? You talk to my mom that way? What the fuck is wrong with you? Like those kind of scenarios. So I was doing that and I was joking about how I like, sometimes I'll, in those scenarios, I laugh. And so like, that's like me practicing my laugh. And I made a joke about that and how one time I, I way over laughed to a joke that wasn't that funny. And I was like, does anyone else do this? Or am I psychotic? And then someone commented, she's like, oh, that's not so bad, but Go outside and play cards. Uh, authenticity is spont or sp spont spontaneousness is authenticity. Go laugh and have fun. And I was like, I w I could not stop laughing at that comment. I was like, do you, who are you? <laughs> I don't know, man. It was just a weird comment. But I thought it was funny that she told me to go outside and play cards. <laughs> do you guys actually like do your chores and like not want to kill yourself? Am I just a baby? I, I feel like I'm, I am always been, like I delay doing my chores till like so last minute, unless I'm like on my shit, which I'm usually not. But like, who the fuck actually is like, Oh yes, today is laundry day. Bitch, what? <laughs> Fucking laundry day? Like, that's awful. I just fucking do it sometimes. Most of the time there's a giant pile of laundry. Just in, on the floor. Cause I didn't buy laundry hamper cause Fuck that, I have candy to buy. I have, I have little treats to buy. Why would I buy a laundry hamper when I could buy a chocolate bar, you know? But like, chores are so annoying. Like, you're constantly having to do them. And like, it just gets in the way of like, other shit that you also don't wanna do. Like, here I am getting exhausted before I go to work doing cleaning 
Man, what? All right, guys. So update. When I got uh, got the got the trickle charger, um, but fucking, I'm going to take the battery out of the fucking car. And so every car has like a a bracket that holds the battery in place. Not only is the one that I have to get up the nut is like so hard to fucking reach. I can barely get it with a wrench. It's fucking rusted on there with fucking thread lock, so it's impossible to get off. So well, now I need to buy more fucking shit, and on my way back from buying that shit that was not cheap, I get an email, I have a new family doctor, and uh, we wanted to transfer the files from my old doctor in Ontario. I get an email from my doctor in Ontario, he was like, um, that's gonna be, uh, $67, please. Can we use your credit card? What the fuck? Alright, so I stopped recording for a bit because I got mad. Um, I, I went to go get groceries and on the way there I started having an existential crisis about life and I was rethinking everything. I was like, I'm gonna move away. I'm gonna go back home and live with my parents. Just a general like... Not a mental breakdown, but like, you know... Anxiety making me want to do rash things um, and then I thought this video is fucking stupid. I'm gonna stop recording it It's just uh, making these chores more annoying. I don't want to talk to these people and uh, I'm just gonna look like a fucking weirdo. This video is gonna be boring um, So I stopped recording, but I made myself some burritos and I'm feeling slightly better and Now I'm gonna fold the laundry if you if you want to come, that's what I'm about to do. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's fucking do it. And let me put on my new playlist, guys. I've made a playlist. Um, it's called Douche, and it's all of my douchebag songs that I list. I used to do this. Um, listen to this playlist on my way to like a first date or something, to uh, to make me feel confident. Now, I I just listen to it all the time because it makes me feel sexy. Um, it's a good playlist, but it's like, I kind of got to keep it on the down low. Um, because it's like all of the most male manipulator music ever. Let's go. Let's fold laundry, you guys. Why? So, I've been curious, you guys. What are you, leave in a comment below what your coping mechanisms are for going into work when you don't want to. Because me personally, I'm always so dramatic about going into work. I never find it that fun. And I, like, I've tried the lying to myself tactic, but like, it seldom works, you know what I mean? So, I need tips. I work in a restaurant, and I have like eight hour shifts, and I get I get tired, you know what I mean? Like, so, I just, I don't wanna be miserable all the time, you know what I mean? So, I'm just trying to vibe. I think my next strategy while I'm working is I'm just gonna not, I'm just gonna not work so hard. Like, fuck it, you know what I mean? Cause then at least that way, it's it's more like, I feel like I might get the vibe that it's like high school again. Like that, that would be more fun than like, thinking, oh, I'm getting paid nothing for this monotonous labor and abuse from random pretentious people who think they're in a fine dining restaurant, you know? So awesome. You know what's really upsetting me right now, actually, in this very moment, is the fact that I don't have room to put my fucking sweaters. I don't have a big enough shelf, and it's killing me inside. Also, I don't know why I still have these pajamas. This is fucking ridiculous. But I think it's kind of funny. That reminds me, I should show you my shoes. Okay, so these are my shoes that I've had since the start of grade nine. And... Uh, so for me that was 
six-ish years ago, six or seven years ago. Check this out. They're like slippers now. Watch, it goes through the hole in the bottom. Goes all the way through. It's awesome. It's like ripping on the sides here too. Ripping on the bottom. Check that out. This, for some reason, the right one is like way better. Like it only has this hole. And not really a hole in the bottom, but it has like this thing, which I can use as like a clip when I'm riding my bike, like a toe clip. You see that? It's great. But this one's fucked. Oh. Um, like, can you see in there? See that? That's like dirt. It's awesome. I love these shoes so much. I'm never getting rid of them. They're gonna be like, um, I'm gonna frame them one day and just like, I always wish I could have like, I say this all the time to people, I wish I could have like mileage on my shoe, like a little thing on the, so on the side of it maybe that says like how many steps you've done on them or like how many, you know, just kilometers you've walked in them. That would be so fun to know. Cause the problem is when you get stuff like clothes, especially, well, when I get clothes from someone who's not me, um, unless it's like a joke clothes or like exercise clothes, like my, like my parents have got me like workout clothes, which is really nice. Cause those things are, are like weirdly expensive. Like the most expensive kind of clothes is the clothes I wear for like an hour a day, like the fuck is that? Um, what the fuck am I doing? But the problem with people, other people getting me clothes is that I only wear black. So, I don't wanna be rude and get the gift and be like, hey, like, thank you so much for the gesture, this is really nice, but like, I'm never gonna wear this. That's, that's my issue. And I feel like a bitch, and I know I'm not alone in this. I was talking about this with my friend the other day. Like, stop buying me, <laughs> stop buying me stuff. Just give me money <laughs> and I'll worry about the gift, okay? Just kidding. You know what I love? Getting a fucking card. Getting a card is like the best shit ever. Like my sisters, write me cards it's that shit's so dope one of my sisters will like send me little like postcards from where she is in the uk and i'm like that's just like the sweetest thing she like hand makes all her cards wow 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 this is my sriracha underwear because i'm spicy Actually, that's the kind of clothes I like. My mom buys my underwear. That's the best shit. <laughs> so all of my underwear is Christmas themed. <laughs> or silly socks. I'm a silly sock connoisseur. And the best part about me wearing silly socks is that no one knows that I'm wearing silly socks because I'm always wearing like boots. And if I'm not, like at the gym, you can see my silly socks exposed. Um, otherwise, I have, I have like non-silly sock replacements for when I need to show my socks. Like for example, at work tonight, I have just like normal dress socks. Otherwise though, I'm goofing it up all the time. Polka dot socks. Elf socks, narwhal socks, the whole nine yards. So I came up with this video idea um, to try to meet a hundred people in a month and like try to really get to know them because I want to stop um, 
I want to curb my social anxiety, you know? Um, it's going to be a bit of a longer video to make, and I've made no progress so far. It is like, what, it's the 5th? Yeah, it's October 5th. And I've made this much progress, so I have a lot of people to meet. And, I, uh, you know, maybe me putting this out there in this video will make me work harder to do it. Um, the problem is, here's the problem. Where do you go to meet people? You go to places where you need to spend, like, at least 15 bucks. Like, unless you're doing, like, meetups. And I think that's maybe what I'm going to do. I don't know. My plan was just to, like, stop random people who looked interesting on the street. But then I was like, people have places to be. Like, they don't want me bothering them. You know what I mean? So, that's a bit of a dilemma right now. But I am really excited about that video. I feel like... I feel like it, it could be cool. I've, I'm trying to, like, experiment with different video styles. I've just been really enjoying making YouTube videos recently. Because it's like a bit of another creative thing. I really like talking, so um, that's kind of what this is all about. It's all about talking. Um, and I have no one to tell me to shut the fuck up, so it's great. I'm so excited to see my dad later. I haven't seen him in so long. I'm going to go. I might bring you with me to work. You know, what do you think about that? Do you guys want to come to work with me? Like, you won't, like, see in the restaurant I work at, but... Um, I think maybe when I'm done my shift, I'll give you guys a little update, and then maybe you can meet my dad. Is that too forward? You know what I mean? Like, is, is this too soon for you to meet my parents? I feel like we have something going, though, you know what I mean? I've told you a lot about me. I mean, I don't know much about you, but... Yeah, here's... here's How about... You tell me about you. So I, I'm always the one... Putting all the effort. I'm carrying these conversations. You just have to fucking sit there. Leave me a comment and tell me about you. Unless you're my friends, because I already know about you. So shut the fuck up. I'm joking. Please leave a comment. I need the algorithm to like me. Also, I turned down the music because... So, I didn't have to shout so loud. But... Right now, Lana Del Rey is playing. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. But... I've recently had to... When I am talking to girls... Not mention that I listen to Lana Del Rey. Because... Other male manipulators, other male, like I'm one, maybe I am, I don't know. Yeah, I am definitely am one. Um, male manipulators have started using Lana Del Rey as a way in to get some fucking, some fucking pussy. And now, now it's like known that that's like a manipulation tactic, so now I look like... A manipulator, so now I can't tell anyone that I listen to Lana Del Rey, even though she's my shit right now. Oh, I knocked you over. Sorry. All right, homies, we're doing the last clip on the phone because I'm fucking tired and I don't feel like setting up the microphone. Um, <laughs> I sound really grumpy. Uh, I had a good shift, good times, and uh, I saw my. So my dad, I didn't bring you along with me there because um, the poor guy was so tired. I wasn't even gonna shove a camera in his face, and I honestly just wanted to just wanted to hang out with my dad. Leave us alone. Some alone time with him, okay? Anyways, uh, good shift. You know, I really like my job right now. But thanks for joining me on doing some chores. It was a good time. And you know what I'll say? You made it a lot easier. You were a good company, so thank you. Um, next video will probably be something more normal. I don't really enjoy vlogging at all. I think it's weird and I think it's cringe. So I'll probably never do this again. But it was an experience, and thanks for tagging along. Bye!